Hey friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report, man. Without you guys, this literally does not work. It's raining out. It's going to rain all Halloween day. Sometimes, it's got to rain. And rainy days can be tough. Not every day can be a sunny, bright, beautiful day. But you know, without those rainy days, you wouldn't appreciate those sunny days quite as much. And it's like life when you've got problems. If you never had problems, then you don't know what the good times really are. You know, there's two worlds that are out there. There's social media, where you got all the filters, and you can go through and delete stuff, or you can edit it, and you can always make it look so perfect. You know, you look at people, and it's like, oh my God, they're so beautiful. Look, look at all the wonderful things. They, look at where they are. It's so beautiful. It's so perfect. Wow. And then there's real life real life there's no filters you don't always have everything that you need and that you want and there's harsh realities and real problems I'm supposed to go to Puerto Rico and I look and think there's so many things that I want you know, we all want a fancy car or a great truck or be able to go on wonderful vacations, you know, have a big house, you know, uh, you know, 85 inch TV and things like that, be able to travel the world. While there's people out there that literally have next to nothing. And I don't care how bad your situation is right now. I can guarantee you there's thousands or hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people that wish they only had your problems. We fight and get mad and angry over stupid crap. I'm looking at this lady's house. and seeing what she's had to endure for over two years. A blue tarp on a roof to try and help keep the water off that's basically worn out. The windows blown out and pieces of plywood that are partially covering them. Concrete floor, not concrete smooth like that over there. I'm talking about just rough ass concrete. A kitchen cabinet, one cabinet, where the bottom of the cabinet is literally cut out and you probably would look at it and say, mm, I can't make that, I can't do that. And these are American people. And as I look around at the things that I have, I feel guilty and realize that it's not something that I want to do, but it's something that I owe to others. This world is so ugly and so full of hate, man. You know, I, I joke around with Eagle fans and about their team and you know, you got idiots out there like Cole Pizzle and things that are calling out Mark Holmes and screaming about his giants and stupid crap like that. You know, I got people out there that hate me and this, that, and the other. But you know what? None of y'all have real problems. You don't. You honestly don't. You know, we're upset because our Cowboys haven't won a Super Bowl in 20-some-odd years. 
Is it really a matter of life and death? Is it really going to destroy you? Is it going to take a meal off your plate? Are you going to go to bed hungry because the Dallas Cowboys don't win? Are you going to be sleeping under the elements because the Dallas Cowboys win or lose? You're not. And we got to stop acting like a bunch of cry babies and jackasses over trivial stuff. We have so much excess. We have so many wonderful things. Our life is so beautiful. It may not be perfect. You may not have a job that you really and truly love doing, but you have a job. You may not have the perfect house that's got everything that you want in there, but you got a home. You got a roof over your head. You got television. You got the internet that you can sit here and watch me on. You got a telephone that you can call or text or email or watch whatever. People don't have those same things. And it's our responsibility to start trying to make a difference for others. Stop being so damn selfish about your own individual needs and things and start thinking about some others. Because if you were in that position, I guarantee you, you wish somebody would come and help you too. I know this isn't my typical video, but when you see what I've seen and know, I can't even imagine what the Bahamas must be like right now. They don't talk about that. Two years after the fact. You know, they always say, nice guys finish last. And people are more over, more likely to try and get over on you for a buck. Something wrong with that. I wasn't brought up that way. And I'm not going to live that way. Before I leave away from here, I'm going to make sure I do everything I can to help as many people as I can. Well, let me get my behind out the rain before I mess up my cell phone. Do me one favor. Just one favor. Tomorrow, I want you to do something nice for somebody without looking for something in return. I don't care if it's just hold the door open for somebody. Help, help an old lady with her bags to the car. Say good morning to somebody in the elevator. Just do something nice for somebody else without looking for something in return. Just one thing. That's all I ask.
I'll see you guys first thing in the morning. I'm going to go to bed early tonight. <laughs>